We're at part eight of the Super Metroid playthrough, and now we can finally continue all of them already after making some necessary uh, sidetracking. <laughs> or after getting or after getting lost for an hour and a half like I did. And then getting lost We're... again on the way out. That's always <laughs> awesome. <laughs> no, I'm not even kidding. I got lost on the way in because I didn't know where to go. And I got lost on the way out because I didn't know my way back out. <laughs> I was like, I just want to go to Ridley's lair. I want to fight the awesome dragon. And then I got to Ridley and he pogo sticked everywhere. My god, was that anticlimactic. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Ridley, I thought you'd be more badass than this. <laughs> yeah, I was giving your name the benefit of the doubt, but you really are fitting of the name Ridley. <laughs> yeah, because you act like a fucking court jester. Giant spark we Stop making me think of Ronin Warriors Rule 34s, damn it. Yay. Oh, look, another thing. That totally <laughs> wasn't excessive. There's actually a fake wall, a fake floor right there to the left of the Super Missile. New bridge. What the, what the fuck <laughs> Although at this point in the game, you really should be expecting it at this point. At yeah. this point, you should be using the X-ray visors every two feet. I call this the probably the most pointless room in the history of Metroid because there's nothing here so besides no, it, it exists only so that you can fall through the sand from a higher room. No, you can't. You can't fall through that sand. No, you can. No, uh, not I'll that I'll point one. it out. No, I, I remember. I'll, I'll, I'll point it out when we get to it. I... I I can't recall exactly at the moment because I do know that the sand needs to be going off screen for you to fall Metroid? through it. Yeah. Oh, no, those are mock droids. The the room that will be that that you can fall through. It's it's not that far from here. I don't think. I definitely remember falling into that room. Shine spark. Not really. <laughs> and mini boss time. We get In this fact, thing. I'm, I forgot its name. I'm actually quite certain that this room is the same room that you should be falling from. A uh, precursor to Flagara? Uh, wait, Flagara from Prime? What? Well, that was what, a plant. What, what, no, I'm talking about. How they, uh, what's the dragon in Ocarina of Time? I can't remember its name. The dragon know, in whatever. Ocarina of Time. <laughs> Just the dragon. This is the room. <laughs> No, no, this isn't the room. It's probably in the next room. No, it's, there's Something. no other way to get in here besides the door to the left. No, this sand. You can fall through that sand. Yeah, the sand to the even right. You... The... Yeah, the sand I to the left over there. I didn't you could through, speed yeah. boost. I did not know you could speed boost through that fucker. I jumped at the wall, rolled up into a ball, and rolled through the tunnel above it. Are you serious? Yes. I don't know how wow. I pulled that off. It took several attempts, but I but I but I but I but I, I ran at the wall, I jumped, and I managed to time a morph ball just well enough to, to, to slip into that slot up there. Oh my god, dude, how long did that take you? Um about thirty seconds actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> as long as too much time wasn't wasted. Well, it doesn't take that long to retry it, John. It it's just I failed a couple times, that's all. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, mine's making me... Oh. <laughs> Grapple beam, what is it? <laughs> I, I am no. Mega Man X. I can climb one wall. You know, when you're stuck in the... You, you can actually transfer from the grapple beam to a wall jump, so when you're stuck in this shit, you really should use the grapple beam at every opportunity, just to get yourself out of the goddamn sand so you can jump properly. Where you can just do what I'm doing and just say fuck it all and wall jump. <laughs> <laughs> because that's totally easier than using the grapple beam. To me, yeah. <laughs> Is that his what fault? Happens you, it's not his fault you suck at wall jumping. <laughs> what happened to that poor Metroid? Oh, he just fell off into the sand somewhere. <laughs> oh, you're not even worth Metroids. You're not even worth killing. They're baby Metroids. They're mock droids. No, they're mock droids. They're different. Fake. Fake. They're faked. Hence the They're fake. Oh, I see. They're fake Metroids? <laughs> yeah. As in can canonically, or just because they're so pussy? Uh, canonically. Oh, I see. 
So they made fake Metroids. A bus door. <laughs> what? I hate this boss. I hate it with the fiery passion of a million foreman grills. Dragoon, I, I take it you try to fight it the legit way. <laughs> what's what's the <laughs> illegit way? This way. What I'm, what I'm about to do right now. <laughs> what are you about to do? Grapple Just beam. Watch. You're going to grapple beam it? Bazort. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most obnoxious electric el electric sound effect I've ever heard. Okay, those spider right. those spider things are annoying. Those web things. Yeah. All right. But I'm, what I failed to do there was uh, what you need to do is you need to get grabbed by one of the her one of her spider webs. If the moment she grabs, the moment you get stuck in one of the spider webs, she'll go into her second phase, which is to grab you and to start you know, uh, dancing around with you in midair for a good few seconds, and then she'll start attacking you with her tail. The thing is, though, uh, if you well, what I'm what I'm what I'm failing to do right now is that I'm not uh, facing the other side of the, the wall, which causes her to keep trying to swipe and trying to grab me here. Now she's doing the spider web attack. So she grabs you like this, and if you manage to grab one of the exposed electrical outlets with a grapple beam, you will have her in a lock that will completely drain her of all of her life. It will hurt you too, but Zort. she'll die. Before you do. Zort. Wait, what the? F and she. That is awesome. <laughs> It's like, it's totally, you wouldn't figure it out on your first time, but that is awesome. Now, I'm assuming that you just try to unload a lot of missiles and super missiles into her stomach. Yes, I did, actually. Yeah, I, I did that the first few times, too. Space, I, 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 I actually, I, just, I actually just uh, uh, learned about that strategy a few years ago, so, yeah, I've been doing it the long way, too. But there's For actually you, a third... What was it? Uh, I was just gonna make the comparison, the inevitable comparison to the purple gem. You, you go on. My joke's not funny anyway. Space jump. There is I totally actually a third. Get out! They jump through those spikes. By the way, the third, uh, third, the third, and arguably the coolest way to kill Dragoon so fast is abusing uh, the speed booster glitch, which allows you to, you know, activate the speed uh, booster much earlier than you're supposed to. What, what, what happens is if you let one of the gray webs touch you, you can technically run in place long enough so that Samus will activate her speed booster mode, and you can go into a Shine Spark. If you can diagonal Shine Spark into Dragoon's stomach, it is a one-hit kill. I, like, I'd <laughs> love to see that. I've been That's... trying to do it for years, and I can life for me cannot do it. It's very hard. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds badass as all the hells. Like head banging to rock to hard rock music or whatever heavy metal, sorry. <laughs> I need to get my genres right. And now we're back to familiar territory. Yeah. Yeah. Now we have the the space jump we can get break the game. The yeah, actually. <laughs> <laughs> we'll break whatever area is left. Once you have the space jump, you can get on. pretty much everything in the game with no problems. Basically. Yeah. Not all of them this, are. This area has There's a slight blue tint. There's at least one area that you kind of need to jump in, uh, in ball form to be able to get, and that requires another upgrade. Okay. But I'll tell you, the space jump was such a godsend when I first got it. I'm like, oh my god, thank god, no more wall jumping. <laughs> so you might still occasionally see myself the wall jumping for no unexplained reason whatsoever. Uh, Plasma later game, game, it turns the lights on for a few seconds. Huzzah! In later games, they nerf the ability to ascend infinitely. Like in other M, you, you can just maintain a constant altitude for as long as you want. You want to actually... Yeah. Uh, Metroid you, Prime, you, it was a double jump. Which is lame, by the way. Well, if you could jump infinitely in a 3D game, it would break everything. How does that break anything any more than Super Metroid? Well, they could have just like... And with the wall jump, they you could get everywhere anyway. They could have just let. They could have just did the other M uh, 
uh, thing, you know, just to let you keep a constant altitude. Just turning it into an ordinary du double jump is... It's just a double jump. There's nothing special about it. Well, uh, well actually... If you get it right at the beginning of the game and break it completely. Well, the thing is, though, with Metroid Prime 2 uh, and Metroid Prime 3, the screw attack allows you to jump uh, five times consecutively without... at the same altitude. Uh, which is weird, because I thought that's what the space jump should have been. <laughs> but they gave it to the screw attack instead. Yeah. Trust Nintendo to be consistent across their games. Nah, I'll blame Retro Studios for that one. <laughs> hmm. Alright, but... Yeah, I think, actually, I'm, I'm heading forward towards the uh, the spring ball right now, actually. Yeah, Plasma yeah, Beam's yeah. Lost, kills these fuckers in one shot. But this sand is still a pain in the ass. Did you turn off the ice beam? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I, I think, uh, it goes in tight. Uh, uh, it still freezes them, but the Plasma Beam, since it goes through enemies, it kind of counts as hitting them twice. Oh, I see. There we go. You see, look, I'm still wall jumping right here. There's no point to it whatsoever. <laughs> well, space jump makes wall jump a lot easier to pull off. Yeah. yeah. We there, there is a fake. Yeah, there is a fake floor to the left there. So don't try not to try not to venture too far to the left. Power bomb. Fuck. I wasn't fast enough. Well, I've never seen I gotta this wait enemy. Him. That enemy I have never seen anywhere else in the game ever. Yeah, he's he's only unique. He's unique only to here. So what's the point? So so you can do this. <laughs> you need him in order to go through this material. Why? I have the screw attack. <laughs> no, there's nothing Samus can do to break through this stuff. My, this is what's taking this? a while. Yeah, this is what's very exciting. What's the point? What's the point? Is there a point? Not really, no. At the end of all this? No, there is an upgrade at the end of all this, but, uh... There had better damn well be something better than a missile pack at the end of this hallway. If it's a missile pack, I'm going to shoot something. Probably shoot my own this thing. Foot. Oh, wait, I already did. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. There we go. Just so that I know. Oh, this is where you uh, get the the jumping thing. Spring okay. Ball. Yeah, spring ball. It's no. It's no wonder I missed this. It was so out of the way. Yeah, I would definitely say it's one of the most out of the way power ups of the in the game. Jump. There you go. No. There you go. <laughs> removes. It removes the it, it removes the necessity of having to jump out a wall and then perfectly time a roll so that you can get into slots that are higher up. Where are we off to now, Johnny? Uh, now we Back. need to get. Now we need to go really out of the way just to get two more uh, expansions to our missiles and res reserve tanks in this area. I'm I'm actually editing that out so we won't see all of that because it requires right. us to go through, like five different five rooms that we've already been through. All right. So and basically, and, and, and. I'm, I'm going to show you what. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna show you the area that I'm gonna that I need to go to because at that point it branches off into two different paths. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit to the part where the pa the path branches again, so I can take the other side. Oh, I see. Okay, that works. It's so entertaining when you explain the technicalities of what editing you do. I'm sure our subscribers must love this. <laughs> <laughs> Behind the scenes at Frame Scratch Comms, where not a whole lot happens, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> uh, we're just people like you. We are Only. not gods as much as you claim us to be. <laughs> we wake up every morning. We forget. We wake we wake up that euphoria that's uh, the first few seconds of your life realizing, <laughs> only before only before the bad rush of memories <laughs> enter your head. I drink my coffee in the morning. I take my Advil every morning. <laughs> We're people like you. Oh, the part's over. Why do you need to take Advil every morning? <laughs> Why do you need to take Advil? Well, I have to have my. <laughs>